Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your August 2017 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month I thought I would use the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. You know, summer, ocean, swimming, dolphins, mermaids. <laughs> it just seemed to make sense. So that's what we're going to use for these readings and then of course pulling a crystal card for each sign from the Healing Crystal Oracle by Rochelle Charmin. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And of course, we still have courses and readings up over at Gumroad. So let's get started. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you for August 2017. I do have the lawn guys creeping up closer and closer. I can see him right here. He's got the, <laughs> like a leaf blower or something. If that starts to get too loud, I will just pause the reading, but let's keep on going until he gets here. Okay. Taurus, August 2017. What do you have going on? Oops, oops, oops. Okay, that should do it right there. <laughs> I almost dropped the deck. All right, your first card we have is Divine Magic. Well, well, well. Let's see what else you got going on. Explore your options. You know, the energy of like mid-July going into August, and who knows beyond there, because I'm only going to tune into that energy, but it really does feel like we are putting to rest all the old lessons. We're putting to rest all the old ways of doing things. We talk about this all the time, but this is like a pivotal point for some reason. This is where we're really laying down any problems, or it's just there's a nice kind of conclusion to things. It feels a lot like that as well, and now you're free to explore other things. Okay, so here's going to be your, your challenge for this month, and it's worthiness. Knowing that you deserve good things to come into your life, that you do not need to be in lack, that you do not mess up relationships, okay? Um, if, if you have, for example, relationships, let's keep with that. If you have relationships that don't work out, or you've always kind of been one of those people where you feel like love doesn't work out for you, this is your time to look at yourself, what is that about? And that can be a very sort of daunting task, right? Where it's like, I don't know why. If you don't know why, ask for guidance and watch how things open up. I used, you know, my own story several times where I, I couldn't figure out why do I keep having these friends that just don't care? These self-centered friends, what the heck is going on here? And, you know, I asked for guidance. I kept getting these like, um, synchronicities to look at narcissism, to look at codependency, to educate myself on that. Videos on YouTube kept popping up and finally I got it and I accepted the message that was coming through. So some of you might be going through that as well. All right. I'm going to give you guys an extra card because <laughs> there were two cards that were kind of sticking out here and uh, I just feel like they kind of go together. All right. So here we go. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Now, again, that miracle might just be self-discovery, uh, laying down some sort of pattern, laying down a way of thinking, changing your approach. Let this be the kind of energy that's flowing through you. This is a magical time. Now, when we say magical, I don't mean in like that superficial kind of way. I'm just going to have my head in the clouds. I'm not going to be in touch with reality. But beautiful things are opening up for you. Beautiful things are happening. Allow them to be. Okay. So the next card we have here, and this is why, explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities because again, the world around you is changing and shifting. So if you had, if you have a one track mind, you're going to be in trouble. You have to ebb and flow with the world. And we are conditioned to have a one track mind because people will be like, oh, you're flip flopping. Oh, well, you know, um, people did that to Doreen Virtue. Oh my gosh, you're a born again Christian. What the heck are you doing? I saw it as a beautiful thing. She's growing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know being in this business, um, I, I've come to learn things that just don't resonate with me and I'm not okay with it. And I'm realizing that I got into this work, yes, to help people, but also to discover things about um, human nature and to be a mouthpiece for that, which I've been trying to do. So just be open to whatever you're kind of being led to. Explore it. Make sure it feels pure. Make sure it's not somebody else's idea. Okay. So again, let me read this. It's a good time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make 
changes, okay? So taking that new approach, um, allowing other things, just go out and try anything. Anytime you go out and you're, especially interacting with people who are not like you, you're growing, okay? You're opening your mind, you're expanding your mind. Go out and try it, no matter what it is, all right? So the rest of these cards all kind of flow together, so I'm gonna kind of read them quickly together. So we have worthiness, and like I said, that's gonna be your challenge this month. It says, know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. And then we have helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. Um, I'm just gonna hold them up in front of my face. These two cards really do kind of go together, all right? So part of your worthiness might be someone helping you and saying, hey, you know what? Here's this great therapist who works on this stuff. Or hey, you know what? You might want to read this book. Or hey, you know what? You might want to go listen to this person speak. That's how that person's going to help you understand this. So this isn't about getting validation from others. This is about you understanding yourself on a deep level and going, okay, I see why I've always perceived things in that way because, okay, maybe it was something in your childhood. Um, but whatever it is, you're figuring it out. You're, you're really feeling it, not just up here, but you're feeling it and you're understanding that you can take a new way. You can take a new approach. So let go of any old preconceived notions. Be cleansed of that, that you somehow, again, that you're somebody who has lack, who can't be in a relationship, who has bad friends, who, you know what I mean? Or can't seem to get that job that you want. Whatever it is, there's a common thread there, guys, okay? There's definitely a common thread there, and that is stop listening to other people tell you that you're not okay the way that you are, and also be willing to and, and commit to being the best version of you that you can be. Not being like someone else, not going, oh, this person says this is how you're supposed to live. No, do it for you, okay? Then we have let yourself receive, Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Now this, to me, is saying, okay, get ready to receive heaven's help. Heaven, again, is putting signs in front of you for you to develop, for you to understand yourself better. Do you see what I'm getting out of here? So don't dismiss the messages that are coming through. Don't dismiss these synchronicities. And please don't bury your head in the sand about your own issues, okay? Certainly you don't want to be playing the blame game this month. All right. So your crystal card is black tourmaline. It says protection. And it says you're protected as you go through these changes. You are protected in your new approach to life. And that's okay. Because again, a lot of fear. That's why people won't change. Because, oh my gosh, I feel exposed. I feel raw. And they're saying, no, 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 no. Black tourmaline also helps you not only be grounded, but it absorbs negativity. Okay? So... You know, people, again, get into that magical thinking where they're like, okay, I'm going to carry a piece of black tourmaline so that I am not susceptible to negative forces. Okay, it helps. It definitely helps. But if you don't believe in the negative forces, if you see them for what they are and you know, like, you don't have power over me. I was thinking of David Bowie in The Labyrinth. <laughs> Do you remember? Like, the last part of the movie, she's like, oh, you have no power over me. And he's like, oh, it's like this really funny moment. <laughs> and I think it's like a crystal ball or something that goes crashing to the ground. But it means the illusion is broken. And, you know, yes, there is negativity in the world. Yes, of course, we have to look at that. But it doesn't need to have power over you. Okay? You can feel free to move on in the way that you know you want to, you, in the way that you know that you're being guided to. Okay? So there it is, guys. Have a beautiful month, and I am sending you so much love. Take care.